Hi folks, Professor Amachi wanted to get you through T6 code 2. So if you're ready, let's get started. What we're going to be doing out here in T6 code 2 is we're basically going to be building out this crossword layout right here. So this is eight columns down over here. And our first header here is going to span across eight columns. And we're also going to do row spans as well here. So row span would be here. Column span would be down here as well. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to link to our style sheets. And the first one is code 62 layout. And the other one is code 62 table. That's what we're going to be building out right over here. Okay, so we link to that. And then under body here, we're going to have our table. And this is what we're going to be building out all along here. Underneath the table, we're going to need the T head. And underneath that is table row. And we're going to have this as well, a T head. And we're going to column span equals eight. We're going to do that and add the text here, daily crossword. OK, so let's take that and expand that out. So there's our table, there's our T head, there's our column span eight, that's gonna be right there. We close off TR, close off T head. Good, so let's go now to T body. And we're gonna build everything out that's under here. So our first row is gonna be like this. Okay, so our TR here, and children under that, that would be uh, TD times, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, we got seven here because the because the column span here is going to take up two. So this will be times seven. And the first one is given there. This, this is number two. This is number three. Uh, fourth is going to be nothing. The fifth one here, TD column span two. Column span is going to equal to there with a class of blank. That class is going to equal blank there. And we are going to reference that in CSS as well. So this one here is four. And then we have nothing for, for the last one here. Okay, go ahead and save that out. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's uh, that's looking like that there. Okay, let's start with that second row there. Okay, that second row is going to look like this. So it's TR. And then a child underneath that. We're going to have TD. Uh, five is going to be there plus td times 2 plus td row span equals 3. And then we're also going to add the class here is going to equal blank plus uh, td 6 plus td7 
and plus another TD right there, then uh, last one is TD with a class of blank. And we close that out there. Okay, so here it is, five. We got nothing here, nothing here. Row span three with the class of blank. Then we got the six and the seven here, and the very last one is blank. Cool, let's go to the third row. Okay, we are going to have table data of eight plus two more table datas times two. We got a TD of nine in there plus TD times two then plus TD with 10 in there. Okay, so eight nothing, nothing, nine, nothing, nothing, and then 10. Okay, next row. Let's do a TR over here. Child underneath, TD, call span equals two, and the class is blank. Oh, blank. Already there. Then 1TD plus TD with text of 11 in there. Plus 1, 2, 3. TD times 3. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, the next one is this. It's TD with the 12 in there, plus TD 13, plus a TD in there, plus TD with 14 in there, plus TD with a column span of four, and then a class of blank. Okay, so we got 12 and 13 and nothing there, and then 14 there, and then a call span of four and a class of blank right there. I think we'll be okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. It's a TR, TD, uh, we got 15 plus TD times two. No, nope. we're gonna do this. So we got a TD there plus TD, this one's gonna be row span three with the class of blank plus TD 16 plus TD and how about we do 17 there times 4 so it's going to be 17 18 19 and 20 okay expand that out there we go, 15 and then nothing there, row span three, class blank, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Next one, TR, TD of 21, plus TD, plus TD, and we got 22 plus TD, and how many of these do we got? One, two, three, four. Okay, TD times four. All right, let's build our next one out here. It's TR, 
Then we got TD with a text of 23 in there, plus a TD. Then plus a TD with 24 in there. And then TD times 2. Then TD with a class of blank. Then we got row span equals 2. And we also have a column span of 2. Okay, let's build out our last one here. So we got TR, we got TD of 25 right there, plus TD times 2, plus TD with a class of blank, plus TD with 26 in there, and plus another TD in there. There, and I think that's going to do it there. Okay, I think we're ready for CSS. Let's go table, border collapse. Set that to collapse and margin. We're going to go 20 pixels. Table, T head, and TH. Set that color to white. Background to red. Font size, 1.5. Border is going to be 1 pixel solid gray. Okay, let's look at the table data. So let's set that border to 1 pixel solid gray. Uh, set that width to 50 pixels, the height to 50 pixels. Text align, set that to left. Vertical align, set that to top. And font size, 0 0.7. There it is, they're starting to build out here. Last one here is we want to take those those cells that have a class of blank. We want to set those to red. Okay, so TD and remember that class there, the dot for the class. And if it's blank, set that background to linear gradient to bottom red. Uh, to bottom right, red, and gray. Yeah, I think this is going to do it. So this seems to match up with what the assignment is asking for. All right, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.